Hello everyone, DCB here, and welcome to another discussion video. In this one, I would like to discuss peer pressure. Now, I sort of touched on this the uh, other day when I was uh, talking about the uh, vegan wine that my wife had found, uh, but I want to go into a bit more of it now. Uh, so, first of all, what exactly is this so-called peer pressure? Uh, as the name suggests, it is pressure put on yourself by your peers. Uh, what are your peers? Peers are people who are your same age group, your same sort of um, working group, uh, maybe even your friends and uh, sometimes your family. Uh, and they put pressure on you to do certain things. Sometimes, um, quite a lot of time, in fact, when this term peer pressure is used, is in a negative aspect. Uh, like for example, uh, somebody is peer pressured into uh, smoking, drinking or doing illegal drugs even though they don't want to, in order to still be seen as cool and relevant to their group of peers, mainly friends. Um, and sometimes it is, it can be used in a positive aspect. Uh, peer pressure can help you uh, get out of a rut. It can help you improve yourself if you are doing stuff that is either illegal or self-harming. Uh, like for example, uh, you can be peer pressured into going to the gym or just generally increasing your amount of exercise that you do in a given day. So it can be used in a positive and a negative aspect. We mainly hear about it though in the negative aspect kind of thing. We believe that because a lot of people do one thing, in order to be accepted by these people, we need to do it. Um, not always the case. Not always the case. Whether it be in the positive aspect or the negative aspect, at the end of the day, the choice should be yours and you should not feel any sort of pressure to, to do it. You know, if, if you don't want to exercise and everyone's like, oh, you should exercise, you should go out, you should get out, you should go and uh, go down the gym. Guess what? You don't have to. That's, uh, that's your choice. If you, if you don't want to go exercise, you don't want to go down the gym, brilliant, fine, excellent. You know, that's, that's not detrimental to the society. Yes, it can have some implications on yourself, depending on your other lifestyle choices. You may not go to the gym, but you may have a perfectly healthy lifestyle. Doesn't mean that, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with sitting on the sofa watching TV, watching films, playing computer games. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever, as long as it doesn't hurt yourself or others. That is the thing that I would say is the main thing to take away of it. With the actions that you're being forced into lead harm to yourself or to others. Mainly, the main one is obviously yourself. You, me, everyone is the most important person in their lives before children. After children, it's the children. <laughs> Obviously, biological impulses and the parenting instinct means that we will sacrifice a lot of ourselves to help raise that child. Um, obviously, if you have, depending on your income, your circumstances, all that kind of stuff, it may be harder for us others than it is for some. Uh, but that is nothing to do with, of course, peer pressure. Uh, that's more of a biological thing and sometimes it's a sociological drive as well. Going slightly off topic. <laughs> Slightly off topic. Uh, let's say the peer pressure, as we know it, is mainly construed into a negative aspect as it is um, highlighting the pressure of certain peers, of certain people to do things which are detrimental not only to themselves uh, but to others as well, uh, mainly used in the illegal aspect of life or to do some other sort of thing, uh, aka smoking, drinking, that kind of stuff. 
how, how many um, people, when they're teenagers, feel like they have to drink in order to be seen as cool by their friends and to be accepted by them. That is peer pressure. The same with smoking, same with vaping, same with any sort of activity that you feel that you're being forced into or that you need to do in order to be accepted by your group of friends or peers. People who are of similar age group and similar working and home life capabilities. You want to fit in with them, so you do these things. Guess what? You don't have to do those things to fit in. And as I say, if you want to drink, if you want to smoke, go ahead. If you want to sit on the sofa, play computer games all day, go ahead. It is your life, it is your choice, and do not feel pressured into doing it. If you feel like you're being pressured into that situation of smoking, drinking, sitting on the sofa watching films or playing computer games by your friends or friends, then don't. They want to do their thing, let them do their thing. You want to do your thing, do your thing. If you want to engage in that social interaction known as drinking, smoking, your choice. You should not feel like you're being forced into it. I know it's a weird one and a short one and not really one that can have any sort of real explanation for it. As it's one of those things that has sort of evolved with our society and keeps changing on a day-to-day -day basis and a week-to-week -week basis at the moment because of the lockdown. Um, there's a lot of certain lack of peer pressure, uh, though obviously it still does exist in some sort of uh, way and form. Uh, the pressure at the moment from our peers is to stay safe um, stay indoors and uh, stay away from others as much as possible. Uh, only go out if absolutely necessary. Uh, you, you like, for example, you're a key worker uh, and you can't work from home or that you need to get some groceries or if you have a medical reason that you need to be out. Uh, that, that is obviously what's going on at the moment. And of course, if there's a certain amount of pressure from our peers to stick to that, but this is in a positive aspect, not only to protect ourselves, but protect the ones that we love. Anyway, that's all for today's video. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments below about what you believe peer pressure is. It is. Have you experienced peer pressure? Has it ever happened to you? Have you done it to other people? Uh, like the videos if you're enjoying the content, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and until next one, this is DCB. Knowledge is power if we use it wisely.